Easy to remove old one. Easy to install new one. Unplug power. Disconnect battery. And then change. Old unit went bad due to a close lightning strike. And we had no lights. After installing the new unit, everything worked perfectly. The panel on the upper right snaps out. The MBA wiring is loosened from the panel. The new MBA wiring is connected to the panel. The panel snapped back in, and the MBA is screwed into place. Finally, install cover. Exact replica of the original equipment. Not sure why the original failed and I hope this one lasts longer than the original. I'm not an electrician and I was a bit intimidated when the original did fail. And not sure how to diagnose the problem I felt it was cheaper to throw money at this problem rather than go to a RV repair facility which probably would have milked me for 3 times the cost of this unit. Easy install only 5 wires, so pay attention to how you remove and it would be easy to replace. I highly recommend a surge protector because a lot of RV parks are deteriorating and I suspect this unit blew up because of an older RV park didn't properly maintain their electrical boxes. I can't prove it but I suspect it. If you're replacing your original WF8955, this one will do the job perfectly, but, you have to install it backwards. The fan will be on the right hand side, whereas the original one had the fan on the left hand side. Other than that, it's a direct wire up, direct fit replacement main board. It has solved all of our 12V issues in our 2006 Keystone Sprinter travel trailer. The product was exactly as it should have been. Worked perfectly.